You all have watched this video of a married woman who said a reverend father asked her to be the mother of his kids. A married woman. I never wanted to talk about this, but people have been tagging me. Over 25 people have sent me the video in my inbox and asked me to talk about it. So, I don't know about it. You want to hear what I will say so that I don't say all sisters who guru. I'm a queer. And let the difference between this Roman father now and the Bible God that went into Joseph's house and gang rape. Here with one young mother, Yala, Angel, and Gabriel, and Holy Spirit. The Reverend Father is doing exactly what he learned from the scriptures. Anyway, that's by the way. As a woman, do not collect money from any man unless you have plans to sleep with him or unless if he asks for sex, you will give him. Do not collect money from any man. God say, eh, I thought he's doing giveaway. I thought he's helping the poor. Nobody is helping the poor. Aristotle, father of realism, my mentor, say, whatever a man does is done with an eye to something. With an eye to something. Don't say he's doing giveaway. You collect money from. Do not any man that toasts you and you don't want to have anything to do with him. Don't collect ten kobo from him. Except he's bloodly related to you, your uncle, your brother, your father. That's understandable. But any man that gives you money, emergency 2K, emergency 4 5, do not collect if you don't have whether you are married or you're single or you're a grandmother or you're or you or, or you're a reverend sister, that's not the issue here. Don't collect it and come and tell us, eh, 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 eh I, I thought I thought he is responsible. I, no, go to work and look for, and get make money yourself, or you ask your family members, please. This woman was collecting money from this priest, and she's now telling her, what, what, what can you do about it? She set herself up. A married woman is not supposed to collect money from any man. Never. Except her family members. Except. It's understandable. You can collect money from your family members. Understand. Your husband will understand. You don't collect money from a uh, man, and you expect him not to ask for sex. When he asks, you start disturbing us. Did you share the money with us? Dear Reverend Fathers, please, if you are no longer comfortable with the priesthood, you are a man, a mature man, you are not a slave, you are a freeborn. Leave the priesthood and come and get married. And you could think it's a joke. It's not a joke. Instead of you to go against your vow, for that, for that, for that be a long one. The same thing with Reverend Sisters. You are busy going against your vow, sleeping around for that, for that, for that. Nothing will happen to you. I don't even cooking here. Anybody that talks back at you, but one on them is to protect the priests. My job is to protect the priests. I don't have any other job. And the religious. For that, no. Don't put yourself in danger. Don't set yourself up. Hey, get, get, make it exposed now. God say, eh, eh, people attack you. Eh, eh, sisters, sisters is angry because he never became a priest. Nobody is angry. Nobody is. No, your personal life no concern anybody. What we are attacking is the is the doctrines that made us poor and backward as a people. So for that, be a long one. Be a man. Come out. No, see, nobody send you. People will talk after one year, two years, they, they will keep quiet and face on that person. Look at Regina Daniel now. She for I tap, I tap, I tap. Regina Daniel only what I'm against salt. Salt or every pia, every her grandfather. Back with we. Same to you, the doche. Hey, this, yeah, hey, Judy Austin. Now people are now like liking their union. Nobody will, nobody send you for that. Be a long one if you're not comfortable there. Please stop going against your vow. Be cool. The Roman Catholic Church 
own a support to own a cover up for the church, the church, the church. The church does not belong to you. A Roman Catholic Church, not in Pise Catholic Church, not Obo Catholic Church, not Newi Catholic Church, not Obo Moshok Catholic Church, not Akwaibom Catholic Church, not Kalaba Catholic Church, not uh, uh, Ijo Catholic Church, not Yenegua Catholic Church, not Ogun State Catholic Church, for that no. Unless you are comfortable there, no problem. But if you are not comfortable, instead of you to be doing kukre, 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 kukre. You are a man. You're not supposed to be having sex and bearing children, hidden, hiding yourself. For that, no. If you're not comfortable there, please. The same thing with the Reverend Sisters. This Catholic Church, Catholic Church, see. I understand. The Catholic Church educated us. The Catholic Church formed us. The Catholic Church gave us training. But when they in the chat are fighting for their own, no. Or you won't send you. Me for that for that. Me no longer share for Me no longer want him as priest as priest. Me much as share bishop. Everything you are doing in the church is for the man the church in the religion now. All for the makigi. Say a mo homa, a no homa. All for the makigi, huh? So that you will be steadfast, not in our own, or in our own, huh? Not kegi. So nobody send you, but Francis not send you. Whether you come out or you not come out, he go just dead there. The queen be say now, him be say till now, and you be like a bishop. So nobody send you, me not me not a sacrament, me not a sacrament. Nobody gives an F about you. So you may be comfortable, but be comfort. Be a long one. In the sister, for now, be a lordy and be happy. Live your life happily and fulfilled. Stop going against your vow. Stop doing things you will be ashamed of. Stop doing things you can never be proud of. Please, for that, eh? And be happy. Thank you.